Welcome back, folks. The last episode I got stuck. I've now found out what I have to do, and I found out that I missed something here. Remember those lockers? Belongs to someone called Goddard. Turns out they have names, names on them, besides being locked. It's locked. Yeah. They are all locked, but some of them have names on them. No name on this one. One of them hasn't. Lovecraft's locker. And one of them has a name on it, which we will recognize. Ultar, written in not, crayon. Not this one. Even though some of you may actually recognize this name. If you've played the game Broken Sword, Broken Sword 1, you will maybe remember that this was the driver. Um, in Syria, I guess. Um, yeah, some Middle Eastern country. But the name that, is, that interests us is, of course, Reich. Reich, yes, Reich. And what's this? Also, um, noticeable about those lockers, there's a slot. Not a slot, it's a, a slot. standard card slot. Yeah, a slot. And we can use our card on those, on this slot. Not slot. I heard a little click. I don't know what the card slot is. Reich. Yes, Reich. Nothing in here but some bottles. And there are some bottles in there. Ratty Chem Shampoo and Sani Cool Conditioner. I think I can live without them. Yes, indeed. So, there were some unimportant items in there. But interesting, nonetheless. Yeah, at the moment we cannot make any physical progress here. At this link terminal. We have to go elsewhere. Namely, we have to go back to St. James Club. But before we go to St. James Club, um, we'll make a short detour to the court. And by the way, th those links to terminals, they actually contain some uh, interesting news, not this one, also on this one, but this one, no, yeah. Body of security officer Stephen Reich was discovered today in Iry Block Recycling Plant. The murder has been linked to the sabotage of a security vehicle by Hobart terrorists. That is, of course, us. Let's, um, let's go to the court. You may wonder why we are going to the court. The reason is, of course, that I um, played through this bit before, so I know what's about to happen. But let's let's just go there. And I took the long detour. Uh, never mind. Yeah, let's go to the court. The court is now open. Silence in court! Security Services Department of Justice, Inc. Judge Chutney presiding. 
court is now in session. We're about to meet some. Um... Silence! I recognize that villain. An habitual criminal, if ever I saw one. Ah, uh, that's Mr. Greaves, my lord. Yeah, we're about to the council um, meet for someone the prosecution. we've met before. Silence when you speak to me. Now, who is the first contestant? And the judge is a little Dependent, bit weird. My lord. Yeah. The case of Union Security Services versus Howard Hobbins. Yes, Mr. Hobbins. Howard Hobbins. Come on up. The guy who was... Nice to see you, Howard. Steal, unfortunately. You're not nervous, are you? Not really. The defendant is accused of gross contempt and assault of a security officer. Oh, intolerable. What have you got to say for yourself, eh? I've been framed, Your Honour. May I elucidate, my lord? Go on, then, but hurry up about it. Officer Blunt was investigating a complaint made against Hobbins. After questioning the defendant, he was the victim of an assault. Ah, monstrous, off with his head. Just a flippin' minute. Who's defending me? Defence? Is he entitled to any? I'm afraid so, my lord. Upon my soul, whatever next? Who'd be silly enough to defend this wretch? Uh. Yeah, we will, apparently. We are Very silly well. enough. Let's get on with round one. Fingers on the buzzers, everyone. I wish to call Officer Blunt. Call Officer Blunt! Please tell the court what happened. Oh, I was assaulted. And is the culprit present in the court? Ha! Ah, that's him in the overalls. <laughs> I rest my case, my lord. Good. Where's my black cap? Ah, <laughs> uh, we haven't heard the defence, my lord. Oh. Uh, is it really necessary? Oh, go on. Just don't take all day. Well then, okay. Hmm. Now then, Officer Blunt. What was the nature of your injuries? What was the nature of your injuries? I got very wet. But you didn't suffer any physical harm. I could have caught a nasty cold. <laughs> oh. Tell the court how you got wet. <clears throat> While patrolling on Bellevue, I was saturated by a sudden shower. Did you ascertain its source? Oh, yeah. I heard laughter from the walkway above. So, you saw the accused pour the liquid? I couldn't see anything. My eyes were full of water. But I'd recognize his laugh anywhere. Hmm. Just how well do you know Hobbins? I've never met him before. And yet you say you recognized his laughter. Um, I don't know. Who lodged the complaint against Hobbins? Objection, my lord. Defense is contriving to lead the witness. It was a simple question. I wish to establish the seriousness of the complaint made against my client. I shall permit the witness to answer. However, I'm awarding Mr. Greaves <laughs> five points for a well-timed interruption. That's a so who spot. did lodge the complaint? It was Daniel Pierbolt. Oh, darling. What was Mrs. Piermont's grievance? Cruelty to her pet dog. I interviewed Hobbins on four occasions. But he still hasn't confessed. Did you examine the dog? 
I try to. And the bugger bit me. <laughs> no further questions, Your Honor. Yeah, let's call Mrs. Piermont. I wish to call Mrs. Piermont. Oh, oh Mrs. Piermont. Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello, uh. darling. Hello, everyone. Silence in court. Very well, then. What exactly is the nature of your complaint? What was your complaint against Hobbins? He was abused, my little poochie poo. Disgraceful. I haven't had a dog abuse case since the infamous Spaniel Mangle scandals. Did you witness the alleged attack? Not exactly. Then how did you know about it? Did the dog tell you? Officer Blunt reported the incident to me. Had you met Hobbins before this incident? I don't recall ever seeing him. But one takes little notice of mere maintenance men. How would you describe your pet dog? Objection, Your Honor. This is a trial, not a dog show. Objection overruled, Mr. Greaves. I want to get to the bottom of this doggy business. He's an absolute darling, darling. Everyone adores him. I don't think so. But Officer Blunt said it bit him. Oh, that would be the uniform. He was mauled by a troop of scouts when he was a puppy. No further questions, Your Honor. I'd like to question the defendant. Did you assault Officer Blunt? Objection, my lord. Why, men, what's wrong? Um, repetition, <laughs> my lord. Objection overruled. Are you guilty of assault, Howard? Not me. I was fixing one of the cooling pipes, and it burst. So blunt soaking was an accident? Not exactly. Why did the pipe burst? Some joker had cut a power cable and overloaded the steam release in the power station. Oops. That's what damaged the cooling pipe. Oh, I see. Yeah. Who might that have been? Did you laugh at Blunt's predicament? Laugh? <laughs> I'd nearly wet me pants. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Greaves, you may start the bogus round. The facts speak for themselves, my lord. Hobbins is a cruel and callous man with no respect for law and order. I recommend the maximum possible <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Any comments from the defense? I don't believe this is happening. This is total madness. You've all been warped in some way. And I think Link is the cause. Silence! I've heard quite enough of this nonsense. So it's time for me to make my judgment. Howard Hobbins, you've won tonight's star prize! Life imprisonment! <laughs> uh... However, in view of your service to the city, I'm going to reduce your sentence. Two hours community service! Court dismissed! Yeah. We will continue this madness when we come back, folks. So, until next time, folks. Until then.